In today's episode, we want to talk about master documents. So we have here two chapters from a book. We don't have the book yet. We have just the two chapters. On the left is chapter one, on the right is chapter two. And we want to bring them together in a master document. So let's write each chapter. And let's suppose each chapter is uh, written by a different person. So someone else will write the chapter one and someone else uh, the second chapter. And we want to create a book that looks similar in all the chapters. So we have some text with some uh, headings. Let's write something. And now let's mark what is heading one, what is heading two, and what is paragraph. So this is heading one, this is heading two, and this is also heading two. This is our first chapter. But uh, what we want to change, oh, I, maybe I don't like black in heading, so I want another colors. So let's change that. I will choose dark purple too. And I will increase the font. Okay, so this is how I like the heading one. And let's do the same with heading two. I will increase the font. And let's choose dark purple tree. Okay. So this is how I like to have the first chapter. Now let's suppose we are another person and we are writing chapter two. So the person have to use the same structure to use the same heading one, heading two. It's very important to have the same uh, styles, name styles in our projects in order to um, make them to look better together. So we are on, let's check, this is heading two. And the first one is heading one. But let's suppose this person uh, doesn't have a taste for arranging very, very good the documents and don't have, st um, I don't know, he doesn't know to, to arrange. For example, it's using a light gray for this heading too and you can hardly read this text. Um, you can notice also the text is uh, not justify, it's left aligned in all the in all the chapters but it's very important to have heading one heading two in both uh, or in all the chapters of this book no matter how the persons style them but they have to be with the same name for styles let's see what we can do we have heading one heading two here and for text default paragraph. Now let's uh, save all the chapters. And now let's begin the master document. New document, master document. And we bring the first chapter first. So we have chapter one. And after that, we press here, insert file, chapter two. This is the navigator. Um, this is how it look when we are in a master document. So now we have chapter one with uh, the colors for heading from the chapter one. And also um, we see here the chapter two, it's using the same style as heading one from chapter one. Let's insert a page break before each chapter. So each chapter it's on a new page. Looks better now. Um, what I don't like uh, it's the text. 
you can see it's not gray anymore. Tokyo is now with the colors from chapter one, so it looks much better. Um, let's improve the text in this master. Let's edit the style for default. Let's suppose we want to justify. So now everything in the project is justified. If we compare the text from chapter two hasn't changed, it's left aligned. But when I imported in master, when I linked the chapter, now the master document is seeing as justify. I saved the project as a master document ODM file. And let's uh, see what we can do. Let's style uh, the default to have a spacing or instead of single to 1.5. Let's check. It's 1.5 in chapter one and in chapter two is not okay. Why? Because uh, the two persons who wrote chapter one and chapter two haven't used the same style. So in the first chapter was use default paragraph style and in chapter two was use text body. So we have to use the same style default paragraph style also in chapter two. So after the person is making these changes to his chapter and if I go now to master Let's uh, maximize in order to see the navigator. We can go to view sidebar and uh, let's maximize. Here it's the navigator. So let's update all. We press here, update all. And now all the text is 1.5 spacing. All the project looks similar. You can see everything. Everything is looking similar. Let's edit the style for default to be now 1.15 and everything change to that size. Let's change something else. Um, let's uh, increase to 13 the font the font size. Okay, everything looks similar. What we can do? Um, it's very important the order in which insert it, we insert the chapter. If we insert the chapter one first, we have the style from chapter one. If we inserted first this chapter about Tokyo, everything in master document will look with gray for heading one and heading two. So it's very important to have uh, the order of the insertion in master document. Now let's uh, suppose the person from chapter two want to insert another um, heading and another paragraph. So now we just have to go and update. So let's look at the chapter two, update all. And now we have a new paragraph here. So it's very easy. It's uh, justify, everything looks fine now. We don't have to arrange again to make everything, all the changes again, because the person um, have the paragraph in left align. From now on, everything will look fine when linked to that chapter. Now let's uh, edit the heading two. I want here to have uh, more space above and below zero. You can see here have changed. We have more space above and less um, between uh, head heading two and text. You can see here in chapter two, we don't have that. We have more space above and below, but when linked to master document, everything looks similar. Let's suppose this person want more space from from chapter two. You can see looks ugly, but this is what the person wants more space. But in the master document, 
everything looks uh, fine. You can see if I update, these changes are not here because um, we are not using the styles from chapter two. We are using styles from chapter one and from master. Let's insert the index, a table of content. We choose here level two. Okay, so what is very important for master document is that we have a table of content for all the content. No matter how many chapters are, we have uh, one table of content for everything in our book. All the chapters are treated like everything is just one document instead of being different chapters in a folder. So now let's insert a page number to each page and let's preview. So we have uh, five pages. Let's go. Everything looks fine except on page six we have an empty page. And let's see why. Let's go to the master document and we see here we have some enters. In the chapter two we have to talk to that person to remove the enters. Okay, the person is doing that changes. Now we have to update all in the master. Let's check. And now we have no more enter after the last paragraph from, ch from chapter two. Everything looks good. Uh, what we want to test is if we have in um, the text some references. So let's go to references and let's insert a footnote. So in the chapter two, we have uh, the first footnote and let's insert a second footnote. Remember, it's a second footnote from the second chapter. So they are number one and two. And now let's go to chapter one. Let's open chapter one. And let's insert also here a reference. So let's go to references, footnote. And let's insert here my first footnote. So we have one footnote in the first chapter and two in the second chapter. Let's see how they are treated in a master document. So we have the first footnote from chapter one here. And now if we go to chapter two, we have number two and three because from the master document is the second and third uh, footnote instead of in chapter two being one and two. So this is very useful to have in a master document. All the document is analyzing everything like it's a single document with all the info there. So it's very useful. Let's uh, see. We can insert also here in the end of the document an index of um, entry. Okay. We can check table of contents and from here we have many options to insert or bibliography and so on, alphabetical index and so on. So everything will be for all the chapters that we will include in this book. It's a very useful feature and work works very well. You can play with it, you can test it, Every, all the document looks very fine. Instead of our documents looking ugly with gray with you can see here with so many space above below with being left aligned and so on you can see here and not uh, justify instead of that in a master document everything looks very very fine looks professional and you can print your book and use it thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video thank you